how to connect Printify with Shopify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can connect your Printify store with your Shopify store and how you can use both of them to create your online print on demand store. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now I'm going to be using a temporary email address to sign on both of them. Now the sign up process is actually very simple on both of them. You just got to click on the start free trial button on Shopify and input your email address. So I'm just simply going to skip all of these questions right here. And then I'm just simply going to go ahead and click on create a Shopify account over here, sign up with email and just enter in my email and password. And once you have logged in, this is how it's going to look like. This is going to be your dashboard. And here on the left hand side, you're going to have all your main apps. Now that we have our account on Shopify, let's go ahead and create an account on Printify. So let's go ahead and click on sign up. Give it a couple of seconds. And over here, the sign up process is simple. You just simply sign up with your email address and add a password or you can continue with Google. It depends on you. I'm going to continue with Google and exactly like that, they're going to ask you some questions right here. So we have motivation, identity, experience, and specification. So let's go ahead and fill this out and get it over with. So what brings you to Printify? I'm new to selling online and want to start. What best describes you? Artist slash designer, content creator, individual. You can select whichever one you want and then just simply click on next or I'm just simply exploring and once you've skipped all of that this is going to be your dashboard over here on the left hand side you're going to have all of your main options so over here you have my new store options as you can see it's not connected yet we're going to connect that but before we do that we're going to need to create some products for our print on demand website so to create the products uh, over here in the catalog you can see all the options that you have right you can create t-shirts hoodies sweatshirts long sleeve tank tops skirts sports wears uh, you've got baby clothing supplements all of these stuff that you can create right so it depends on you what it is that you want to create and then down below you have my product section here is where you're going to have all of your products that you have created and you are going to create if you click over here as you can see it says no products as of yet so we can go ahead and create products by clicking on the browse product option and creating it there are some other options that you need to fill out but for now i think we are good to go we can move on to the next part so let's go ahead and create some products so we're going to click on browse products and we're also going to create a product design now we can use something like canva to create our own product design and here in canva we can go ahead and easily create some cool looking designs for our shirts right so here we have some template options we can go ahead and use this as our base to create some cool looking shirts or we can just use the templates entirely we can just go ahead and import them right so you can go ahead and import the design this one is actually for premiums i don't know there's one element over here that is actually premium so let's not use that let's go ahead and you know use a free one so i actually came back so let me just show you just go ahead and search for t-shirts over here and over here click on the t-shirt it's going to open up the template section and we're going to go back and select another one so we have some free versions we have some pro versions depending upon you whatever you have you can go ahead and select whichever one you want so just let's see this one right here this one looks good it looks simple and we can easily use this as our design so let's go ahead and do this one so what we'll do is we'll click on customize this template it's going to open up in another tab and we're going to use this design so we're going to go ahead and download this design right we're going to download it as png now unfortunately it would have been better if we had the transparent background option because uh, then we wouldn't have to go to another third-party website to do that but you know that option is available for the paid version so let's go ahead and download the design that we have over here and once it's downloaded we can now go ahead and go to this website called remove.bg this will allow us to remove the background so as you can see right here so let's go ahead and open up the shirt let's go ahead and upload the design this is the design right here so we're going to select this design and we're going to remove the background of this design so as you can see now that that's removed it actually looks pretty cool we can even download the hd version but i think for that we need to sign up for it so it depends on you what you want but you know this is just for an example we're going to download the simple version there we go now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our store to our printify store and now we're going to select what type of t-shirts we want so we have t-shirts sweatshirts hoodies tank tops so select whichever one you want and we should be good to go i think a sweatshirt would also look pretty good but let's go with a t-shirt right this one looks good the jersey one so we're going to select this t-shirt it's going to go ahead and scan everything and this is going to be the rate this is how much it's going to cost us with for this shirt uh, so keep that in mind each individual shirt will have multiple different vendors and then those vendors will charge whatever they 
you know, whatever they want. So keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and select this and click on start designing. And I'll just explore by myself. You don't really need to know all of this. I'm going to show you everything. So on the left hand side, you're going to have your main options. You have your templates, graphics, library, where you're going to upload your own stuff. You have AI as well. So let's go ahead and click on upload and upload the design that we just created. So this is the design with the zero background. Give it a couple of seconds to load up. And there we go. So now I'm just simply going to move it over here and increase the size. So you can increase the size to whatever you want and the borders will indicate where your design should be so keep that in mind it won't be bigger it won't you know won't go out of the border so keep that in mind so keep it at center or align it however you want to a little bit bottom a little bit at the top even in the corner it depends on you so once that's done you should be good to go you can even put the design at the back of this shirt as well so this is going to be the front side and over here is the back side you can go ahead and switch it to a back side and put like a print on the back side as well it depends on you so once that's done you can go ahead and select different variants so here we have the white variant and we can also have a darker variant like a black color variant so this is how it would look like on black and then you can have like a red variant or a poppy variant it depends on you red does not look that great but you can have different colors as well like the heather dust this one actually looks pretty cool so you can have something like this as well and then just simply click on save product once you've selected all the variants and then you are good to go and then you can go ahead and publish it to your store and over here you have all these different options right so you have etsy you have prettify pop up you have squarespace these are the you know beginner friendly ones these are the most popular ones and since we are going to be using shopify so we're going to go ahead and click on select shopify and here all you have to do is add your shopify url so let's go back to our store this is going to be our url so i'll just open the store in another tab just so it's easy and then just copy the link go back paste the link in the bar click on connect and we are good to go so it's gonna take us over here where you just simply install the application so we're gonna click on install you can install the application beforehand as well wait for a couple of seconds and there we go i'm just simply gonna pin that over there and there we go our store is now connected and we now have a discount coupon as well so let me go back to our Printify store and here is your product. And as you can see, it's currently unpublished. So let's go ahead and click on the product and select the variants we want. So these are the mockup pictures. You can select whichever mockup pictures you want. There's another option to have like individual mockups like these ones as well, where you have a bunch of different people. So this is going to be your main mockup store. So you can select whichever mockup you want and then you should be good to go. So over here if i switch to different shirts we can even you know change it up a little bit but yeah once that's done you can move down you will find the title the description you can add all of them if you want you can even add the size table within the description so that they know what type of size you want and then you have the sizes of themselves so these are the sizes that you can add to your store so let's say we want small medium large and excel these are the four sizes that we want and each four sizes will have three different colors so that's 26 over here as you can see and here is the price so these are the retail price right here this is the product and this is the profit margins and this is the product cost right here so you can go ahead and select the shipping as well and then down below you are good to go after that you can go ahead and connect it to our store as you can see uh, it's currently not connected but even though i did connect that so let's go ahead and do that as well so let's go ahead and click on connect a store i've already saved it as draft as well and this is the store so now we just simply click on connect click on connect to shopify add the url again one more time and as you can see it says it's already connected so i think i just need to you know reload the page and we should be good to go there we go as you can see it's already connected and we're already imported one product so let's go back into the product section and see whether or not we have imported the product reload it so it says we already have it but is it published yet i don't think so so let's go back and then we can just simply select the sizes again and then we have published settings over here as you can see they're much better now because beforehand they weren't available and then we can hide it in store show all variants and order you can only show stocks in variant so once that's done you can even select the shipping method as well economy express standard whichever one you want it depends on you and then just simply click on publish and over here as you can see it might take a few minutes but the product is now published so pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you connect your printify store with your shopify store to sell your online 
print on demand website. And here you can see we already have the product within our Shopify store. So pretty cool. This is how you do it. This is how you can connect your Printify store with your Shopify store and you can use it to create your own print on demand website or print on demand store. So thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And I will catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.